Hey guys, it Duke and Dude here. Long time no see. Well, might as well get ready here for the next reaction video regarding the latest um, Smash Brothers character from ARMS. As of this video, we still don't know who is going to be. Granted, I have not played ARMS myself. I want to check it out at, at some point. Um, of course, I don't really have a Switch of my own, but uh, I do usually have... I do usually play Switch when uh, when I play with my niece every once in a while. So she does have the Switch, she does have Smash Ultimate, she doesn't have the, all the DLC packages, so... We'll see. I mean, this is just one of those, um... One of those new characters that I'm highly anticipating. Because knowing how kind of deep and sometimes maybe even complex ARMS is, I'm really curious as to how this is, uh, you know, going to turn out, you know? So we are still just a few minutes away from this presentation. All I know is that arm, the whatever arms character is going to be chosen is probably going to be very similar to uh, to Little Mac. Here we go. Ah, konnichiwa, ohayo. Yeah, it's understandable. Yes, everyone's on lockdown practically. <laughs> I removed the girl's caption because this thing is not exactly correct. <laughs> so, yeah, he's become a, a streamer now. It's pretty cozy, I'll, I'll say that. Small yet cozy. Funny how there's no uh, translator. It's all subtitles. Yeah, I've seen a lot of footage regarding the uh, arms. Slinkies. They're mutant cyborgs with springy arms, yeah. Who didn't have a slinky when they were kids? I had one. I had several. Probably had two or three of them actually. So that's pretty much like the main concept of like how it uh, originated. <laughs> now, who is the character? Let's see. <laughs> Falcon Munch! <laughs> Nice. That's Spring Man, isn't it? The one that just, uh, yeah. So is he getting it? Nope. Ribbon Girl, let's see. 
Oh, the, uh, what was it? Ninja... I forgot the ninja guy. Everyone's literally fighting for the uh, invitation. Not too uncommon. Captain Falcon's just chowing down. It's Min Min, isn't it? It's Min Min. Oh. Twin Tell. Okay, between you two, well, three actually. But it looks like Min Min's gonna be the chosen one. There was a lot of debate whether it would be Twin Tail, Ribbon Girl, or Min Min. But we still don't know who's going to be the uh, the chosen one. Min Min! Oh god, the Twin Tail fanboys are triggered. Nice. Oh, so you can actually switch your arms. Yeah, just like in the game. So she is not just a brawler, but also maybe a projectile character in that sense. Yep, and we got the Kirby Min Min too. And of course the final smash involves all the characters. Makes sense. It was a difficult decision, but you know what? I'm for it. <laughs> what the hell, Captain? Yeah. I'll let her enjoy her meal. She's celebrating. So the new fighter is Min Min. Nice. Yeah, there were a lot of um, speculation that was pointing to Min Min. I think I saw like some fan art of her winning some kind of a championship belt. Yeah, Ninjara was the other one that was like a heavy candidate. <laughs> yeah, Spring Man is pretty much like, you know, kind of like brushed to the side. So when you search Spring Man, the image results show a certain enemy from a certain manga. Oh, so that's why he wasn't chosen. I'll move on. Let me guess, Spring Man. Does that have to do with like Mega Man at some point? <laughs> Integrating arms into Super Smash Brothers. Uh -huh. As a result, we were able to decide a fighter with an extraordinary fighting style. They're very good against heavier fighters. Lighter fighters and fighters that are still good. We tough for Min Min. Let's explain. Different arms equipped. See, extend the arm. A is the arm punch. Left arm punch. Hmm. Her smash, strong left arm punch. Also move around, use your tilt attacks. And you can jump. You can actually see the smash in here. She's going to be somewhat of a tricky character because of those long distance punches. We also bend it, bend it up and bend it down. Okay, so you can actually change the trajectory of the punch. That's very interesting. That's very interesting here. One big difference that separates Min Min from the other fighters. What's that? B button isn't it's a special move like normal. First, press the A button. This extends the arm, the left. Oh, so okay. B button is the right button, A button is the left button. Huh. Isn't that going to be a little confusing? 
This doesn't necessarily mean that Min Min lacks a special move, but I'll touch on that later. Hmm, okay. Step both arms forward at the same time or separately left and right. Oh, this is going to be a very complex, tricky character. I mean, if you can literally just punch left and right. Oh, man. Consecutive smash attacks. Master Sakurai. Always oh, playing two controllers with one hand on each. L like I was saying, this is like a, a brawler character that's more projectile heavy in that sense. Because we're talking about a, a character who is known for punching, but the punches are more long range than short range. So of course there's going to be a disadvantage in close range combat. So close ranges are disadvantage at this point. Hmm. Okay. B left and right controls the arm. B up and down executes a special move. Down B, okay, you switch the arm. Oh, this is the ram ram. Ah, the ram ram. Yeah, the ring here. Most fast, when you attack, the ring gets released. Oh, it gives it a sort of a boomerang. Okay. That's an idiot. Move it up or down the line as well. That provides a proper knockback. Mega Watt. Okay. しっかり溜めたメガボルトならこのくらいからでも撃墜できるかもしれないですね。ナイス。はい。他人数戦に向いてると思います。他人数戦でとにかく殺さなに紛れて撃墜数を稼ぐとかそういうものには特別ね。
源さんのコーナーにですね、えー、そして相手をつかんで投げるとオッケー、そして、テクニックを投げるとオッケー、そして、テクニックを投げるとオッケー、そして、テクニックを投げるとオッケー、そして、テクニックを投げるとオッケー、そして、テクニックを投げるとオッケー、そして、テクニックを投げるとオッケー、そして、So it's a punch and a projectile there. Midair neutrals. Ram rams quick. So t h e r e powerful. You can alternate left, left and right arm punches. Yeah, that's a common misconception. It's not all punching. Oh, look out, Chun Li. <laughs> Nice. Don't wheel kick. Somersault kick. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of Street Fighter influence when it comes to the uh, the, the moves, uh, the move set. Oh wow, I didn't know you could do that. Cool. I guess it's exclusive to this character then. A slide attack, nice. Trip your opponents. She is going to be a tricky character to, to play as. The arm jump, of course. Depending on how long you hold. Right, right. Can that also work in midair? Okay, you can use that to dodge. The arm hook. Okay, the arm hook. So of course she uses that to reach in case if she's a、uh, like way out of range. Again, she's literally using the, the, one of her arms the same way Lake uses a hook shot to recover. Or the same way like、uh, Samus uses one of those like、uh, electric rays. Makes total sense. But the people that wanted Twin Teller are really pissed. I can probably tell at this point. <laughs> Spring Stadium. The most striking feature of this stage is jumping platforms that show up on either side. If you jump while standing on these platforms, you will jump on high like this. Okay.
So you can destroy the stadium. Or you can bounce off of the, the roof, I guess. Items, huh? What kind? Alright. Yeah, for the most of it. Move on to the actual fighting. In the battle, the two fighters who appeared in the reveal trailer. I find it funny how he just randomly chose Captain Falcon and Kirby just to start the trailer. <laughs> but at least Falcon deserved a good lunch. Kirby's always hungry though. Dragon laser hit. Level 8 CPU. Yeah, once you fight with like level 8, level 9 CPUs, you're kind of used to them. Nice one too. Yeah, very complex catcher to fight as. It's even more confusing to know that each button represents each arm, so... <laughs> Let's see... Oh, good Megalon. Oh, the punch didn't connect. And... Arms Barrage. There's only one fighter left, but I can't let my guard down. Kirby still has the final smash. Oh no! Oh, you managed to survive there. Yeah, it's it's a little unusual to think of a a brawling character with long range attacks. Gotcha. Nice. Thanks for coming on time. やっぱり、え、噛み合わせが大事だと思います。えっと、ダメな時にはとことんダメなこともあるんですけれども、うまくいけば、まあ、よかもかまま、愛と風雑することもできる。ちょっと変わったキャラクターになってますね。え、楽
果のお知らせですこちらをご覧ください What other meat fighters are there today? Let's see. Round six. Huh. Arms character, the Ninjara character? Yeah. Nice. Well, he kinda made it, I guess. Another reference to Tekken? Another Heiachi version, I guess? Or is this the first time I've seen Heiachi? Maybe I'm confusing with another character. Okay, a Splatoon reference. Callie. Oh, the Squid Sisters. Okay. Yeah, it makes total sense. There's gotta be a big surprise, isn't there? What? You are kidding me. They just referenced Fallout? Fallout in Smash? I'm pretty sure I've seen that character in Fallout. This is Cuphead screen, normally Mega Man would have okay. しかし、ミーコスチューム know why, but I usually get I usually get more surprised with the <laughs> DLC me characters than the actual like new characters in the DLC. So we got Sans confirmed. Well, several other characters from other fighting games confirmed as me uh, DLC. Uh, of course, we just seen uh, a reference to um, to Cuphead. Huh. <laughs> A low gravity setting with the uh, with the squid here. With the blooper, that, that's what it's called, a blooper. I wish we got the name of that little squid-like character anyway. Boom! <laughs> クリアしたようなマークになって、ハイスコアと出ましたけど。it's spiritless has its own challenge yeah fair enough 
、えー、スピリッツのお題の中にはなかなか手強いものもあります逃げ窓をポリンとかに苦労した人も多いんじゃないですかね<笑>私がそうです<笑> of course, a tough one.、えー、パーリンズはタフワンスピリッツ班から、えー、難しいお題などの解決方法についていくつか教えてもらいましたので I'm surprised Pauline isn't in Smash yet Who knows if, if she will Shooting and escaping Pauline. That song is just amazing. Ba bomb damage 50% getting a one hit KO. Calamity Ganon, huh? Weaken with hand slap and finish with death's death sight. Okay. Boom. Try the invisible nest's father with a black hole and deliver powerful attacks. <laughs> you know, since、uh, Earthbound usually consists of you getting in contact with your parents via. A phone because apparently they're not there for you. Well, that's, from, that's my understanding of,、uh, of Earthbound Mother, so. I, I've only played very little bit of a. a very. I played very little bit of a Earthbound, to be honest, so I'm not really that familiar with it. Okay, I'm sure I'm going to send the giant beam sword. <laughs> yeah, that's five volt. That's a.、Uh, Nine Volts、uh, Mom. Yeah, I played Game of Wario a while back and I now get the reference to the stage. The amiibo support. They're still、uh, relevant? Let's see, amiibo figures for the main game spiders. Including the ones made for the Wii U and 3DS. Okay. Some fighters like Zelda and Ganondorf had their designs from Smash Bros. for Wii U and Smash Bros. So, yeah, you're recycling those. Ah, what a shame, but we released them all. Every last one. By the way, please take a look at this one. That's Joker! Collecting amiibo has become such an addiction in the last few years, but I think things have kind of died down, right? Heroes, okay. It's Heroes amiibo. Bit off topic. Yeah, he's having his Falcon lunch. <laughs> of course, the other. Makes sense, yeah. I'm familiar with that. We've done many voice recordings for the Super Smash Bros. series. I think that's the only voice we have. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of it. Very fun voice. <laughs> of course, having the voice of Vegeta voicing Captain Falcon again, that's pretty awesome. Captain Falcon is a 
実は木曜版の時から、えー、そういう作業の切り札に準じたような仕様というのは考えてはいたんです。Final smashes were going to be installed in the original. And they just dropped the idea afterwards. Okay. We're all hoping that things get better. Yeah. Show must go on, man. Rock on. Thank you, Sakurai. Arigato. Stay safe, man. Stay safe, stay home. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching. That pretty much says a lot. So, Min Min ends up being the、uh, official character. Uh, I'm guessing all the, the, the Twin Tell fans are kind of triggered over this, but hey, you can't win them all. Oh boy.、Uh, but like I said, like during the,、uh, during the stream, this, thing's, th this character is going to be a,、uh, a very, complex character to, very complex character to play as. A brawler who's, like, who's more experienced is long range, uses, his,、uh, uses its, its projectile、um, spring attacks. Mainly for like high jumps, recovery. I mean, especially those long range recoveries when you're trying to get back to the ring. I mean, the same way that, that, that Samus uses her beams or, or, or how the, the Lanks actually use their hook shots. Well, the original. Well, the Birth of the Wild Link doesn't really have the hook shot anymore. That's kind of frustrating for me. But the Toon Link and Young Link, they still have it. But that just shows.、Um, Shows the uniqueness of each character. I'm still a little confused as to how Min Min is supposed to control because if, if you're telling me that one button is for the B button, one arm is、uh, the B button, the other arm is the A button, it gets a lot more confusing that way.、Well, but we'll wait and see. The character is going to be released as DLC sometime next week, on the 29th. Today is the 22nd, so. Time will tell. But anyway, thanks for, enjoy thanks for、uh, joining me. Enjoy this、uh, little reaction video that I was doing. I think the only reaction I had so far, aside from Min Min, was probably that Vault Boy. I'm pretty sure he's from, he's from Fallout, if I'm correct. Because、uh, it was kind of surprising. I mean, I'm, I'm getting a lot more surprises from the DLC,、uh, um, uh, the DLC Mii Fighters rather than the actual new DLC characters. But hey, until next time. Take care of yourself, stay home, stay safe. And,、uh, well, we just have to fight through this. This、uh, pandemic. Oh, boy. Anyway, until next time, take care. Bye bye.